For my thesis film in graduate school, I decided I would tell the story of several friends who over the course of decades kept trying to make it playing rock music. I had that personal connection that could give me access. My brother was the band's drummer. My advisor okayed doing it, but something was nagging at me. I wrote my proposal, and that nag was so strong on the eve of defending it, I tried to get out of the project altogether. It was that personal connection, that double-edged sword. I would have to lay some things bare. I sifted through found footage, photos, transcripts of stories, archival footage that made me cry. They were so young and alive. And I had footage I shot of the band's latest incarnation, a group called Mad Crush, loading in at a show in their hometown in North Carolina. At the final defense, my committee agreed the film looked good, but disagreed on just about all the rest of it. Once I realized the film wasn't really about the band, then I could finish it properly. I found the visual motif I needed and a title that matched what the film turned out to be. In 1929, Cocteau wrote about addiction. The dead drug leaves a ghost behind, he said. At certain hours, it haunts the house. My name is Caroline Rumley, and I'm the director of The Ghost Behind. <laughs>